So like uh, most molecules that have, uh, so like all molecules that have some sort of stereochemistry in them, uh, we can have different stereoisomers. So there are special names for stereoisomers of sugars. So let's draw on the board uh, glucose, which is, uh, we're going to draw glucose and then we're going to draw uh, another molecule called mannose and collectively you can classify both of these as aldohexoses because they're going to have the aldehyde group here and then they're going to have six carbons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, and we draw these all as Fisher projections. This one is on the opposite side. H. Okay, and this is D glucose. All right. All right, so right next to it, we're going to draw D mannose. So again, it's also an aldohexose. So here's our aldehyde group. We draw our six carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And so for the most part, this looks exactly the same. So OH on the right hand side, OH on the left hand side here. So up to this point, exactly like D glucose, except at this two carbon, OH is going to be pointing in the other direction. So instead of an R stereochemistry, this is going to have an, this carbon is going to have an S stereochemistry. Okay? And so when only one carbon has a different stereochemistry, so this is R, uh, let's see, I believe this is one, let's see, one, one, two, one, two, yeah, so one, two, three, so that's going to be, so that's going to be an S, R, R, and this is going to be R, R, S, R, so you see the stereochemistry of only one of these carbons is flipped, okay, while the other stereochemistries remain exactly the same. And then these are still CH2OH, and there's still an aldehyde on both of those. So there's only a different in configura difference in configuration of one of the carbons. So that means D mannose and D glucose are known as epimers. Ephemers are when when configuration of only one carbon only one carbon is different. So this is a special type uh, between two molecules. So this is a special type of stereoisomer, and so this puts uh, the hydroxyl group 
on a different side of the carbon in this case. And so that changes the stereochemistry of specifically that carbon. And so we can relate these two molecules again as epomers here.